Hi, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I'm the Chief Scientist here at Go Chemless, and I'm here today to talk to you about your backyard swimming pool. But I'm going to refer to it as the chemical soup in your backyard, because that's indeed what it is. Your pool can get easily contaminated with things like algae, bacteria, fungus, mold. It can very easily become contaminated with that. So in order to prevent that from occurring, pool maintenance people throw in a bunch of chemicals to prevent that. We've all heard of chlorine, but there's a lot more that goes into your pool besides just chlorine. Those chemicals combined can be very dangerous. They can be hazardous to your health and to your children's health. Now keep in mind that every day you're using your pool, you're swimming in potentially harmful chemicals. You and your children are doing that. What are those harmful chemicals and how do they form? Let's talk about that for just a moment. When you go into your pool, you get a lot of urine, pets, sometimes jump in there with you. You sweat in the pool. You have makeup that leaves your body, goes into the pool. And of course, leaves and grass, leaf litter, will just fall into your pool naturally by being blown in by the wind or falling from the trees around your pool. These things are all made of carbon. They all have carbon-containing molecules, nitrogen-containing molecules. And when they react with chlorine or other pool chemicals, they will create a mixture of chemicals that are listed right here. First, the nitrogen trichlorides. We'll get back to those in a moment. Halogenated hydrocarbons, chloroform, and the trihalomethanes, also called the THMs. Chloroform is indeed a THM as well, but it's a pretty uh, uh, popular one, so we named it by name, chloroform. THMs are regulated by the federal government. They're regulated to near zero allowable parts per billion in drinking water, but they are not regulated in your swimming pool. They are so dangerous, keep in mind, that the federal government had to regulate them in drinking water, but they decided not to regulate pool water. We don't know why that is. Now, let's look at what THMs will do to you and why they're so hazardous and why the government has chosen to regulate them. THMs, as you can see right here, are linked to miscarriages, stillbirths, rectal and bladder cancer. Now please keep in mind that your skin is the largest organ of your body. If you're bathing in contaminated pool water, contaminated with THMs, your skin is in contact constantly with those chemicals. That is going to absorb into your skin, into your blood, and it could contribute to things like bladder cancer, rectal cancer, miscarriages, things of that nature. So it's a very dangerous chemical and should be regulated by the federal government. Also, the nitrogen trichlorides, we alluded to those in the, in the beginning. The nitrogen trichlorides are linked to asthma. If you ever walk into a pool or walk to your backyard swimming pool and smell that chlorine smell, that's not really chlorine. That's nitrogen trichloride. That gas is very dangerous. If you can smell it, it's bad for you. It's best to eliminate those things in your pool water. Now, there are other ways to keep your pool clean and sanitary without using chemicals, and we're going to introduce that to you in subsequent videos down the road here at Go Chemless. But for today, I just wanted to introduce the uh, backyard chemical soup that you have and tell you why it could be dangerous for you. Now, again, my name is Dr. Russell Betts. I hope I've given you an informative video right now, and I hope I've been able to entertain you slightly. I would invite you now to watch subsequent videos in our series of videos. The next one will be uh, Pool Chemistry 101, which, we're, which is where I will explain to you why all these chemicals are being added to your backyard swimming pool. Thank you for your time.